welcome to uh yeah another one where i thought we might try a, a random airport in america episode again uh, this is l71 california city muni and we're going for my first ever flight in this thing the lockheed S s3 viking which I believe was primarily designed as a Navy submarine hunting aircraft. So that makes perfect sense to fly it in the middle of a desert. Um, okay, uh, right then. So st stick, can we remove that? Oh, crap. Okay, the remove yoke button actually adds a pilot. Uh, get rid of him as we don't want that. Uh, right, flap selector on the left there. Um, I suppose most of the rest of it will just make it up as we go along. Um, yeah, seems nice enough in the cockpit there. Actually, I've just had a thought. You know those Airfix style uh, model making kits where you get all the little bits and then glue them together to make a, a plane or whatever it is. Now imagine five random boxes of different different planes then you throw away half the components and try and build something from what's left. This is what it would look like isn't it? It just seems like a pile of bits that don't really look like they should all be on the same plane together. It, it is an ugly looking thing. Um, but in a strange way I, I actually quite like that about it. Um, okay then, well in here... Um, yeah, some nice stuff that there are a few slightly blurry textures but overall it's not too bad um, well for a freeware plane it's very good actually yeah well, I'm just gonna have a, a short flight and hand fly it so not gonna test any systems or see what works or anything like that I'm guessing there's a reasonable chance that a lot of the buttons are operational as yeah, whoever the designer was, they've clearly put in some time and effort into this one, so it, it, I would have thought most, if not all, of it is going to work. That that windsock seems a little close to the taxiway, doesn't it? Um, are we going to run into that? That's going to be close. Okay, just missed it, I think. Um, yeah, who knows? Maybe that is an, an absolutely accurate placement of the windsock, but it does feel a bit close to that taxiway. Uh, uh, never mind, let's go flying, shall we? And see what this thing does in the air. Full throttle. Accelerated nicely. Rotating. Yeah, that was all nice and easy to get up. Yeah, so as that was California City Muni, I assume that over to the right may well be California City. Um, a little optimistic with that name, perhaps. Yeah, for locality, we're not far from the famous Edwards Air Force Base, although we're not going to bother going there. Uh, on the map, there's an airfield north-ish. Um, it's called KIYK in Yoken. And I'm thinking, as that has a four-letter K code, I'll take a guess that will be a reasonable enough size of airfield where we should be able to, to land there okay. Um, yeah, we'll find out, won't we? But, uh, yeah, as for the plane, no, no complaints so far. Um, there's the glass cockpit instead of 
steam gauge instruments complaint obviously but apart from that it sounds nice flies nice looks pretty reasonable from the driver's seat yeah. stable easy enough to fly even treating it like a, a big general aviation aircraft as I'm doing and, uh, yeah, no sign of any submarines which we need to hunt so that's good Like a large racetrack oval, maybe. Yeah, I was thinking these dark rectangles may have been solar panels, but I uh, wonder if that's a car park for the racetrack. No, I'm going to stick with solar panels. Got that kind of look to it. I don't know. Um, yeah, whatever. Anyway, um. Quick Aristraeus the even greater update, my behind the desk spider. Uh, yeah, saw him again, and he definitely does still have three legs on one side and only two on the other. Uh, did seem to be moving a bit better though, so wondering if the leg situation, when I mentioned him in the last video, that was from a, a very recent fight just before I made that video. And since then he's had a, a few more days to get used to walking again with, um, well, a asymmetric thrust, so to speak. Um, but yeah, he, he seems to be doing okay, so that's good. Um, yeah, doing slightly less okay though, uh, my, my country at the moment. Um, don't know how far outside the uh, UK borders this news has spread, but... Yeah, we've had quite a few riots over the last few days. Um, yeah, thinking about it, that's probably a bit much to unpack and talk about in the remaining flight time that we have for this one. So I might leave that and have a, another flight with a, a proper rant in a few days. Or maybe more than one flight, really, as that subject is very likely to head off on a few tangents. Uh, yeah, I'll leave that for now. Um, but, uh, Olympics then is that still on and uh, you know watch the men's 100 meters final which was damn close and rather exciting but watching sprinting though it does always trigger a memory um, of Usain Bolt and not actually of him running bizarrely enough uh, uh, this was a, a British TV thing, so I'm not sure this would have ever been shown anywhere else. Um, as at whatever Olympics, Championships, or whatever it was, it's the 4x100 relay team. I uh, can't remember if it's a heat they've just won or after the final, but there's Usain and the other three members of the Jamaican team are, are in the stands talking to a British journalist. Uh, there's a few questions and answers then the reporter asks something specifically to you Shane Bolt just as in the background there's a medal ceremony happening in the middle of the athletics field for some other event so music starts and rather than answering the question Usain just puts his hand up to stop the woman points over towards this medal ceremony which was taking place and say something like you know no wait no, it's that guy's national anthem then he stood there in silence watching almost with his back to the reporter and the camera and just let the national anthem get to an end before he started talking again and that was just a really lovely moment of respect for fellow athletes I absolutely love that moment um, there's a lot of high level sports people they are assholes and many of them freely admit that as to get to the top it takes a level of commitment where well I once heard it said that somebody would happily sell their own grandmother just to get a half a percent improvement in their chosen sport when Usain Bolt in that one moment he certainly seemed the exception to that rule. Um, it's almost as if it's it's enough for him to win. He didn't need other people to fail as well. 
uh, just came across as a truly, really lovely person. I've never met him, or you know, I'm sure I never will, but if we did sit down and have a cup of coffee for half an hour, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I'd like the guy a lot, actually. Oh, well, um, airport ahead. Uh, still no sign of any submarines, so I think we're going to be safe from attack by one of those. Uh, yeah, there's two parallel lines, and as the one on the left is slightly wider, I'm going to guess that's the runway, and the thinner one is the taxiway. Getting our speed under control nicely. Um, yeah, plane handling okay. So yeah, I'll be honest, I doubt I'm going to use this plane again. Um, certainly nothing wrong with it, and if you regularly fly in an area where there are um, enemy submarines, then you may well like this one. Um, I mean, in general. Yeah, it handles well, good performance, so that there is a lot to like. If it had steam gauges, I'd be using it a lot myself. Um, uh, yeah, it, it's just personal preference over the visuals, really. Yeah, as for our speed, just using the red line on the speed tape. So now keep it above that red line kind of figure. Um, the slower speeds, the elevator control feels less sensitive of all the inputs, but fingers crossed we'll be okay and not stall into the ground. The controls in general are a bit sluggish now, but still usable, so that's okay. Yeah, last submarine check. A bit worried now, as that seems to visually have a bit of a kink in the runway. There's a doubt there is a kink in it. That could well be caused by elevation changes. Uh, big elevation changes. Yet getting the feeling this is not flat, is it? Um, I think this could be another one where the mesh has gone a little bit wrong and there are hills and valleys down this runway. Um, but I, I suppose we could just give it a go anyway and see what happens. See how my roller coaster landing technique is. Yeah, this is nowhere near flat, is it? Um, yeah, still going to go for it anyway, but I think the prepare for landing announcement is now going to be quickly substituted for brace for impact. Okay, come on, get down. Full brakes, and fingers crossed over this here. Oh crap, that's not good. That's not good at all, is it? Um, we we parked. Yeah, th this might not be the most realistic portrayal of the gentle undulations in a runway surface. Um, yeah, this one's a total mess, isn't it? That does need a major flattening out. Touchdown wasn't actually too bad, really, was it, considering? Um, then then we found a large valley. Uh, you bet that was one of those new underground terrain altering enemy submarines, wasn't it? And yeah, I know they exist because I once heard an in internet influencer talking about them. So um, yeah, in influencers don't lie. So that must be true, wouldn't it? Dear? Yeah, look, I'll, I'll see you again next time in hopefully a submarine free zone. Uh, with a flat runway. Um, yeah, bye.